Have you ever caught yourself in a circumstance, maybe in a relationship problem, in a health problem, in a challenge at work, and your response is to draw yourself in more, to separate yourself from other people, to figure it out, or to decide what to do? This is Jacqueline Foster here of Feeling Good TV. And today, I wanna to talk about this. I wanna talk about this tendency that we have sometimes when things come up and what we can do to really shift that, to bring more of a sense of connection and empathy into our lives. So there were some words that I came across this past week when I was reading the book, A Path Appears by Nicholas Kristof and Cheryl Wu Dunn, which I really, really recommend. Take a look. And the words that I came across are that a death of one man is a tragedy. The death of the millions is a statistic. The death of one man is a tragedy. The death of millions is a statistic. This quote is attributed to Joseph Stalin, the Soviet dictator, and the reason I share these is to come back to this space of understanding what helps us to connect. When I read these words, they say to me that the more that we generalize, the less we care, and the opposite being true. The more that we share individual stories, the more that we create connection and empathy with one another. And this is just our psychology. This is how we work. And so it becomes really important to remember this when we're going through individual challenges. Because if we're struggling with a challenge in our lives and we begin to think that we are just this person in this sea of <laughs> problems and a flood of just despair and we just feel like we're one of these people that's lost and struggling what happens is we just completely generalize who we are and how we're living and we create more disconnection and more apathy but if we are struggling through a challenge and we say you know what i'm gonna call someone i'm gonna reach out to a group i'm gonna connect and I'm going to share my individual story and I'm going to listen to someone else's story. When we do that, we create connection and empathy in our lives for ourselves and for the people that we're talking to. And this is really, really important. I've seen this in my life where I've thought I could just figure something out and do it on my own, but I feel more disconnected. And the times where I call a friend and say, this is what I'm struggling with, are those times where I come back to this space of feeling connected to my story, to the world's story, and to my ability to keep moving through it. I'll give you a quick example of this taking generalizations versus specifics and how this comes into our daily life. We all come home at night at the end of our work day and typically someone's at home or eventually someone comes home, right? Whether it be a spouse or our kids. And we walk in the door and we say, hey, how are you doing? And maybe in some households, the typical conversation is, oh, I'm doing good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good, okay, let's go do our own thing. No connection, <laughs> no empathy. There's no individual story or connection there. And it's easy when life comes to that of just, I'm good, you're good, period, that we can become like these two ships passing in the night, as they say, not really knowing a lot about each other's lives and not feeling that connection with one another. But imagine the same situation where you walk in the door and you say, hey, how are you doing? And you get a little curious and you ask a little bit more specific about that other person's day and they do the same for you. Oh, it was good, tell me a little bit more about what happened. Oh, I had, I had this meeting with some of my coworkers and we had some amazing ideas and I'm really excited about it. Oh, tell me more about that. 
it automatically creates more connection when we get into that individual story. And it can start as simple as that. What's that conversation that you have with your spouse and your family when you, when you get home? So I encourage you just to think a little bit about this idea of really the idea of the more that we generalize, the less that we care and the more that we disconnect. And this is just that human, a human part of our psychology. And it's interesting to read a little bit about this. I looked up a couple articles and I recommend that if this is intriguing for you, you look up this quote, you look up, you look up this information and see what it shares. It's wonderful, I think, for both information on a personal or a business level. So I look forward to hearing about how you play with this. And as well, I would love to know, what do you do when you're in that place of, I need to figure this out, and you're beginning to feel more of that disconnection? What do you do to turn that around? What helps you get into that space of, I can do this, I'm moving forward, I'm connected to my vision, I'm connected to the world and what's going on? And if you enjoy this video, come on over to JacquelineLaceyFoster.com where you can find more videos. And you can also find more videos on HerTube.tv. Wishing you an amazing day and looking forward to sharing more next time. Thanks so much.